Hi, I'm Sean Rasmussen and welcome to Learn How to Blog. As a blogger, I absolutely love blogs. It would have to be one of the most leveraged marketing tools that are available to any business today. I'm a little bit biased because I've been using them for years, but I'll give you a few points here that will probably convince you of how powerful they are. Besides the fact that blogs are very easy to use, they're also very, very free to use as well, which is another cool thing. Let's have a look at the three big reasons why blogs are so powerful. Content marketing, it is absolutely crucial for online business, it allows you to deliver relevant content and bring in potential customers through your blog. We know that, most of us know that, but how many people are actually doing it properly? Delivering content is simple. You simply stick to a topic that you love. You talk about it, you write about it, you publish it on your blog, and over time you bring more and more people to your blog. Eventually, you're gonna make sales. Then there's permission marketing. This is a way to generate leads and sales on your blog, and it's the ethical way of doing it. Because rather than interrupting people by slamming ads in front of their face, like on TV or radio, where people don't actually choose to watch or hear those ads, with a blog you can be more passive about it, let people come to your sales pitches when you're ready. Then there's social signals. Now these social signals, that's when people are interacting on Facebook or Pinterest or Google Plus or somewhere, and they're literally sending votes or links back to your site when you've got good content. More social signals mean more votes, more links, and higher rankings on the search engines. I'm sure you'll agree that that's a good thing. But knowing how to blog isn't just about writing content on a page and letting people read your articles. You have to follow a bit of a system. Apply proper standards and practices. If you want to be a successful and profitable blogger, I suggest you follow these seven content marketing tips that I'll go through right now. First of all, if we were to use the age-old cliche of content is king, then I'm sure relevance is its queen. Because it's all well and fine to give lots and lots of content, but if you do not stay on topic and if you're not relevant, people will leave in droves. They'll get bored or confused. When you blog, stay on topic. Make sure you update your content. Once a week is good, but that might make your hobby style income. Once a day will make you a serious income. The choice is yours. How committed are you? If you're going to be consistent and persistent, the same thing will happen with your wallet. Money will consistently and persistently land in your wallet. More effort in equals more reward out. Now another thing is to make sure you research your content properly because one of the biggest reasons people read your articles on your blog is because you're helping them, you're saving them time. You do the research. You are their one-stop shop for content on their topic. Research it, that's the one reason why people are coming along. You are saving them time. What you're giving away on your blog, people can find elsewhere for free. They're already on your blog for free. People can go to the library and they can learn anything in the world in a library. But the point is some things can take years of mistakes to locate so people want to come to an authority. They prefer to only go to one place if they can. So if you can be their one-stop shop, you could be the person they end up buying from. Other content on your site includes about us pages, terms of use, privacy policy pages, contact us pages and so on. Make sure your blog has those pages of authority so that your site has that air of authenticity so that sites like Google will respect you but also people that come on your site will respect you too. Then point number two, products. What are you selling? Are you selling affiliate products? Do you have your own product? It doesn't matter what you're selling but whatever you do have for sale Make sure it's displayed somewhere where people can actually see them. Because as a content marketer, you're providing lots of content, but you want to make sure that people actually know you have something for sale. You don't have to be totally in their face. You don't have to be one of these, have I got a deal for you all the time. But make sure they can actually find your products, have a sales page somewhere, have a banner or, or something in your sidebar 
or have an opt-in form so people can join your mailing list. Let people have the opportunity to find your products or sell, else you will make no sales. And then point number three, communication. Your actual comments. Communicate with people. If you don't talk to people, can't hear you. It's amazing how many bloggers do not know how to blog and communicate past the blog post. I go on so many blogs where I read a good article, but they got the comments turned off. Well, this person obviously doesn't want to talk to me. Let me go and spend my money elsewhere or spend my time elsewhere. That's how I think, and I think that's how most people will think. Great, I've got a bit of content, but I can't even repay them with a comment. That makes no sense. So to me, it's absolutely crucial that you accept comments on your blog. And it's even more important that if you have got comments on your blog, that you actually reply to them and reply fast. Reply to every comment, communicate, and you will prosper. And my fourth content marketing tip is format. The actual structure of your blog post. I refer to it as on-page SEO. It is putting your content on the page and shaping it to suit the search engine. So the search engine likes it. So you've got a certain amount of keywords that you're targeting your rankings for on Google or the search engines. Make sure you have them in there the right amount of times. It's not a science, seriously, just write your article and be aware of what your keywords are, what you actually want to rank for when people search for you, and then filter them into your writing as you write. If you find that you're pushing it in there too much and it sounds unnatural, then there's too many. Just normal talk and it's fine. There are ways to structure your content so that you will get more keywords in there or more relevant, such as naming your images, having your keywords in headlines, and so on. Point number five is social media interaction. So let's say, for instance, when I published this very blog post, I went to our Facebook Learn How to Blog Facebook page, the business page for that, and I shared it on Facebook. Then I pinned it in Pinterest, and then I tweeted it on Twitter, and then I shared it in LinkedIn, although I'm very good at forgetting LinkedIn, and I also share it in one of my favorite places, Google+. Now, by me putting it out there and communicating in social media, I've only just initiated the communication. But if anyone replies, anyone responds, I should be there and I should be responding to those people because if they just reply back and they hear nothing from me, well, likelihood is that they may never notice me again. When you put your blog post on any of these mediums here, that is just the beginning. Don't treat it like the end. That's what most people do. They treat that like the end. I publish my blog post, I've got it onto social media, forget about it. No, 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 that's where it starts. If you want word of mouth to get around, you want something to go viral one day, you've got to actually do something to make that happen. It will not happen without you. Your energy into this will equal the results that come out. Personally, I don't think there's any better way to get traffic to your blog than leveraging social media to your advantage. And then point number six, emails. Reply to them. If someone contacts you through your Contact Us page on your blog, you should respond to them at, a, at the very latest, within 24 hours, but preferably that same day. Great, you might have a day job. Well, then check your emails at night. But get back to people. Unless you're not concerned about making money, then it's not an issue but you might have a charity. That way, you're actually making money in a way because you're getting energy back. You're doing something good for someone. It still requires your effort. No charity actually works without someone enjoying what that charity is doing. They need to feel empathy or they need to feel something, but basically people want something from it. What's in it for me? When people donate to a charity, their payment is their gratitude or their feeling of being a contributor. People need to feel rewarded in some way, shape or form with whatever they do. But you need to put something in, you need to respond, you need to communicate with your emails, reply. And the one thing that will make you stand out from the rest, if you reply to your emails quick, you will actually be in that 1% that actually care you will then be a true content marketer. 
And the seventh and last point is focus, focus and focus again. The key to be successful on your blog is to be persistent, consistent and true to yourself. If you stick to these seven content marketing tips and you follow these, you will find yourself with a very, very successful blog very, very soon. Please comment on this article so I know that you've been here. Say hello, give me some feedback, ask some questions and any social signals you can give me, I am eternally grateful for. Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Pinterest, whatever blows your hair back. If you're watching this on YouTube, then please comment below the video. Thank you very much for watching today. I'm Sean Rasmussen from Learn How to Blog. Live life, have fun, and enjoy.